finished took a while to get here I really pushed myself uh, almost everything in this guitar uh, was a first time for me top of that halfway through I started working so didn't really have much time um, so I'm really really pleased actually I'm really really amazed at how good this came out uh, a lot of things were a challenge for me the multi-scale, the asymmetric neck, uh, the side tuners, the, of course the shape, first time I do something like this, and the bridge that I um, came up with, made with Corby bolts, and yeah, I put up a little uh, video for you to see how everything started and how we got to this. Um, I hope you will enjoy it. Okay, so we started from the Orion constellation that inspired uh, the whole build and obviously the body of the guitar. Made some drawing, uh, put in the multi scale ideas for the headstock and uh, a few other things. Um, made some templates uh, with uh, plywood. After that I made a uh, neck plank, this was done by laminating 14 pieces of uh, maple, mahogany and uh, wenge veneer. Here is all done and flattened with the sapelli that I'm gonna use for the body and the maple top. Routing the truss for channel installing the truss rod i glued the ears i also cut the angle for the headstock here i'm marking the frets uh, so that i can put the inlays on and here are the inlays so the idea again inspired by constellations and stars i wanted to put the 12 constellations on the fretboards uh, i could fit only 11 so the 12 went on the control cavity cover so these are all the holes I used uh, four different sizes of uh, mother of pearl dots and then uh, super glue and away you go after sanding uh, with a radius block uh, 10 inches um, I went all the way to 600 and this is the result here I'm gluing the, um, uh, the body this is the top I'm jointing the top uh, with a number seven uh, this was a flame maple top uh, probably seven millimeters eight millimeters and here I'm gluing the top to the body I made some uh, weight relief um, holes really I don't think they add anything to the sound but who knows um, I tried a few ways of gluing a body on the top on the sorry tried a few ways to glue a top to a body and I think the best way is to screw it in uh, this is after it was uh, routed and I'm trying I'm starting to do all the carves fretting uh, for fret, I use Jeskar uh, 10447, I think it is, medium jumbo, and this is the Evo Gold. Um, fretting by hand, and the more you do it, the better you get. I think my first guitar had a lot of marks from the hammer on the fretboard, but now it doesn't happen anymore. Here are the side dots. So I used a little 2mm hollow plastic tube and filled it with um, glow-in-the-dark powder, stuff they use for nails and super glue. Here I've glued the 
neck on the body and here I'm starting the sanding session never ending sanding uh, this was the neck axis here I'm making the holes for the string to go through the headstock uh, this took quite a while actually uh, in planning and drawing and finding the right position but it came out perfect here I'm trying to find the right the, the position for the control uh, knobs and the switch uh, cavity routed cover as well and I'm gonna put uh, some neodymium magnets uh, to keep it uh, closed uh, input jack hole and here I'm placing the what will be the bridge posts and I use some corby bolts that are the bolts that I use to keep the scales uh, on the knife handle together so again a lot of planning went into this and it was spot on these are the bolts uh, they are brass 8 millimeter wide and this is the bridge done I was really really worried about positioning in the right place things uh, but it came out really well uh, this is the inlay um, the last constellation on the control uh, cavity cover string through back holes I use the template and the top uh, string through holes here I'm starting to shape the nut to get it closer to the size I need. Uh, this is a graph tech task, black task XL something, and uh, it was quite larger than what I needed, but that, that was the only one. Now staining. I use Angelus leather dye. Thanks to Big D Guitars for all the awesome videos that he makes. And again, I do. I built a tom, so I cannot have a spry booth. And this is, uh, and I think I would still do it this way because the colors are just amazing. They're so vibrant, so deep. Uh, I just love it. And so I started putting down the light colors. Uh, the bottom covered with the dark, sanded everything all the way to 400. And then I added some more light colors where I wanted covered again with a dark one that was purple and blue. And then with um, various sun paper, 400 and 600, I used Mirka, the Abranet sun paper and Mirlon, the gray one. I, I have no idea what, how the, the grit uh, grade of that, but it's the gray one. Um, this is the back doing a bit of a burst um, what I used to blend things in is acetone um, I've asked uh, Omer from OD Guitars as well actually uh, he was, I saw a video he was doing and I just asked him a question and he answered super cool guy as anyone in the guitar building uh, uh, world actually uh, everyone is so nice super open there's really no secrets or secret recipe you know everyone is so happy to help and answer questions um, here I'm um, well I level the flats I'm um, crowning um, and polishing This was after uh, I was um, uh, applying sanding sealer uh, and I was lightly sanding between coats. I put five coats. This, w this was what I got uh, just with the sanding sealer. This was, I think, in between sandings. I used a lot of sanding sealer. I could have done just with three coats probably. Uh, but I was really worried with all this color on it um, as I was going to apply my um, wipe on poly uh, and in previous guitars it picked up a lot of color and you can get end up with a big mess so I went a bit heavier with that uh, here I'm installing the what well, making the holes to install the tuners on the side this as well turned out perfect position 
here I'm uh, using some brass to ground the bridge um, there were a few options uh, that I was considering but this was the best one so I bought some brass wire and I went in and around all the saddles basically and I did with the chisel a little channel to go across installing the pickups I'm using two shallower um, I can't remember exactly what they are. I know they are from the 80s and they are PAF style. Uh, the reason for that is because slanted pickup or uh, multi scale pickups are extremely expensive. I didn't really want to spend 300 pounds on a pair of bare knuckles. And these are just uh, plain covered so you cannot see the poles or anything. Uh, and I thought it was gonna be a good idea and it turned out well so here I'm putting the strings on uh, adjusting the nut uh, slotting the, the nut and everything when I put the strings on I was really really happy because everything was so well aligned I really couldn't imagine it was gonna end up so well and here is the finished guitar I hope you like it again this was a concept is very different from the guitars i've done um, i tried to push myself as much as i could you know with multi-scale the neck being um, asymmetric and uh, and so on in the middle of the competition i started working a lot and i had only really one day a week that i could spend on on the build i'm really happy with what came out So, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you like the guitar, please go and vote uh, for it, uh, I think the uh, voting is already open on the Red Guitar Build Off uh, 2021 website, uh, or it's going to be open in a couple of days from when this video is going to be live. Yeah, if you think it deserves it, uh, please go and vote and let's see where it ends up. Thank you. Thank you.